Hi, this is Lucy and welcome to another Fallout 76 Building 101 episode. Today I will be mostly talking about fences and railings. Although I do have to mention that Patch 22 has dropped this week and it's been interesting. It's one way slant for all, so instead of having safe areas on the map with low level enemies, all of the enemies um, stack to whatever your character level is. So there are, so for example, this dog is now level 50, whereas a week ago it would have been probably level 10. Now, as you can see, I have even on my low, well, one of my lower levels, um, I have pretty good weapons because the friend I play with used to be a trader, so we have quite a lot of um, very good weapons. But it is a little bit of a pain and it also means that I'm going to be using more ammo and my armour will be taking more damage. So you need more resources to play. I have adjusted. I don't know where this dog is. I know, it, I, I know if I uh, start building it will kill me. Uh -huh. Oh, it's um attached. It was attached to my turret for some reason, and now it's stuck in a rock. Oh well. One of the biggest problems I've had with patch 22 is lots and lots and lots of bugs. The game has been really buggy for me, and it's very frustrating. So, um, not being able to fast travel, um, also the scoreboard when I get score and level up it cycles through all of my levels from 1 to however 20 um, and then sometimes starts again as well so this constant popping up in the middle of your screen which is yeah not great hopefully I mean I know other people are suffering from this bug so hopefully Bethesda will will, um, will fix that soon um, I do know a couple of players though that have quit because of um, frustrations lately so and the first day that I was playing on the new one wasteland on my level nearly 400 I got killed by a robot at Tigart which was frankly embarrassing so <laughs> but I am adjusting to that at least so anyway right so Bethesda and their annoying patches aside let's get on and do a bit of building you'll notice on the front of the house I've got these white picket fences they were an atom store um, item that became that came um, as an alternative to the regular fences so they're under the same tab um, most of them are free pl three place apart from these which will snap to foundations and as you know I like to be neat and OCD so I use those ones I will show you um, quickly these are the base game ones they will snap to foundations and you can, can free place them in the ground um, these are the you get a sort of old set that's damaged and um, a brand new set. These will not snap, they will free place in the ground. But this one will snap. I'll take it off for a moment, just extend this. Take this off. Regular fences can be a bit of a pain. Um, because Bethesda decided to build to, to create a building game in Appalachia which is very hilly and trying to find flat areas where you can build are few and far between sometimes so you have a situation where 
you put a fence down and these will snap to each other and before long your fence is pointless um, one of the ways when this does things like this that I've kind of got around it is is I pick this piece up turn it round and try and use the previous the ghost to line it up it's not always perfect I mean obviously I've missed because of this situation where when you select something it pulls it towards you it's very difficult sometimes to line things up but it's it is a way of doing it obviously though the, the fence is the wrong way around on this side you can sometimes it depends on the location lower a fence or raise it they kind of have they will go into the ground so far but overall they are not great to be honest the other problem I have sometimes is trying to line up my fence with the ground that's with the building so that it's square um, one of the ways I have done that is by lowering a foundation as far as it will go trying to line this up with the ghost now it's red. Okay. You can sometimes if you if you have the fence low enough. You can do this, then remove the Remove the floor piece and uh, then your fence is at least square with the building. There are new fences in the Atom Store these fences snap they have multiple snap points just use the right trigger to move it through the snap points there is however no gate as far as I know which seems a bit odd I haven't actually used them in a build yet but I had heard from another friend that um, there's no gate so there we go but they are they are useful for protecting your property um, and they will snap at different points there's also the new junk walls which you may remember from this is a Fallout 4 asset these are free place which makes it a little bit easier and because of the height if you have any height differentials it's probably going to keep your camp safe at least unlike the little wooden fences There is one other item with this that has caused a lot of people a lot of problems and that is the gate. For some reason I have never been able to work out and I think 
it did work in the beginning. Um, I think... that when they changed... they have changed the um, collision on, on a few occasions. Um, that it's made it much worse. I will actually go into that. But these gates can be really tricky um, to use. If you want to use one of these gates, I would suggest that you put the gate down first. Um, although, obviously, just to spite me, it worked first time today. Um, sometimes I've had them snap to floor pieces and they certainly used to snap to floor pieces but I have had problems lately with them snapping although again no here we go cannot place item needs support they used to snap again I think it's something to do with the collisions that just won't snap to a floor piece anymore maybe because it's too high although to be honest this floor piece is pretty low so yeah. So that covers most of the fences. If you have any questions, obviously let me know. The other thing I wanted to cover today was railings. And in the base game you do get a railing it's not immediately unlocked when you um, leave, leave the vault the way to unlock it is actually to take a workshop once you unlock that you will get some interesting defence pieces These railings are the base railings and I absolutely hate them. They come in a full um, piece and they also come in a half piece which won't go on a foundation but it will go on an upper floor if you have a half floor. They are just so... I really want metal railings. These are very, to me very unattractive. In some builds they would look very good, but on a build like this, which or a modern build, they, they look ridiculous. Um, and it is the only proper railing. There is a new railing in the game, which is this railing. But this railing will only fit on the modern blue the colonial I suppose it will only fit on this piece here when they first dropped this set there was a way of converting these foundations to a regular foundation and you could leave the railing there but they fixed that because obviously that's something really important that needs fixing because <laughs> Bethesda really have their priorities straight when it comes to bug fixes <laughs> so those are the base railings in the game you may have noticed in some of my builds I have used conduits to create railings and I will show you how to do that. The first time I saw this, and I th think it was the person that um, came up with the idea, although I may be wrong, was a, was a YouTuber called Jug. He is what I'd call an advanced builder. He did develop a lot of the advanced sort of building techniques in Fallout 76 and previously in Fallout 4. He doesn't post very often, but um, if he does post a video, uh, check it out. What you need is a table. 
It doesn't have to be this table, but this is the one I like to use. You need to make sure it's halfway in the middle of the foundation piece that you want to and you need to make sure it's completely straight. It is sometimes easier if the floor's the other way around so that the lines go slightly the other go the other way. Once you have your table lined up, what you need to do is get a conduit. And to get these advanced conduits, you need the plan. So there is a plan called advanced um, conduits, I think. It's under power connectors. It may be advanced power connectors, but it's definitely got the word advanced in it. <laughs> I'll have to look that up now and, and check. I'll leave a note underneath if I'm wrong. Right. These are the conduits we use as railings. There is one that is half a tile, one that is a quarter of a tile, one that is a whole tile, and towards the end you have three different curved pieces. So what I usually do is I start with the half a tile, which is why it was important that this was in the middle. And all you do is line this up on the table. You may need to adjust it. For a short um, railing, it's probably not as important that it's completely straight but if you look at something like my um, boat build where there are conduits all the way around even a slight variation um, will put set offset the whole thing you pick a corner that you like you plonk that on it will snap And then you might qu quite often find that you can't get the last piece in. If you're lucky enough, you can manage to pull the table out sometimes so that it's slightly overhanging. We'll try that. Unfortunately this is not, it's more of an art than a science. Be aware obviously that the table will pull towards you. When you select it. Still doesn't want to go on. Yeah, unfortunately this isn't always an easy fix. You can put um, another corner on that goes that goes the other way. Um, I've done that before. Like that. I've put a plant pot in the corner. Etc, etc. When you've done all of your railing, what you need to do is um, store the table and it will remove that piece. But what you can do then is just replace it. You can also do double height railings or even more if you wish. Um, and the way to do that is get your table again. And 
put a stash box on top of it or an object that you can lay a conduit on. I sometimes use the green sort of box as well. Um, it can be tricky to line everything up. Yeah, I mean, obviously that's not straight. Although these can look very effective, one of the downsides is that they are actually quite um, budget intensive. Then what you do is you remove the crate. This can be tricky because it's going to want to snap to the ones above. <laughs> Sometimes it's easier to come around the other side, although if you have... If you're doing it on an upper floor balcony, it can be... is pull that forward a bit like that. Still needs a bit more. Obviously I'm doing this a little bit quicker and dirty with dirtier than I would normally. Now you can attach that onto there. Remove the table. And now you have a double rail. I have also seen people put um, conduit railings through, um, and I did it on my Druid build actually, on my Druid camp, through pillars. And there are a couple of ways to do this. Um, if you try and put a pillar through a conduit railing it won't let you. So you need to put the pillars down first. Need a short pillar. The way I've seen it done is to and find the piece. I think it's this piece. We'll actually go inside. The top of it. Obviously it's not very well lined up inside of the top of the pillar. You then just carry on as before. Again, you have to be really careful to line it up. That's Obviously not quite right. Well, maybe we'll have a bigger curve. 
Nope, that's too big. Medium sized cat? I thought I'd done the medium size. Oh, no. Right, let's try something different. Let's try this. And then a short curve. It does take some experimentation and some practice. And yeah, that's still not going through. <laughs> But it's an idea. The way I did it on the Druid build was slightly differently. Um, I actually used a foundation because there was a big slope there. I was able That's as high as that will go. What I did was I rested um, the conduit um, piece on the top of a foundation so this piece here I rested it on the top of a foundation although And the reason I did it like this was because I wanted to do a double railing. Um. <coughs> I'll show you why. It's not going to work now. You can see that one is not actually going through the um, because this isn't lined up straight or it's not close enough. It's slightly going to the right. now it's going the other side but it is clipping it these things as I said take boundless patience <laughs> which I obviously have in spades <laughs> um, the reason I did it on the foundation was to get the lower level what I actually did was I did this and then I lowered the foundation So what that meant was that it was lined up perfectly. You could even have three or four if you have a 
high enough area. So I think that gives you plenty of ideas on how to um, play with conduit railings. Um, and hopefully you will experiment and um, maybe tell me about how to do other interesting things with them. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, I think this is going to be my last sort of specialist technique video, um, for the time being anyway. Uh, next week I will um, probably be doing a build, how to do a build, and a few people have asked for me to um, show them how to do my tiny house, which was the first build I had in this series. I was using it as a base while I built the house. So next time I will do a how to 101 how to build that tiny house different variations and how to blueprint it because that can't build blueprint which can be really useful and why I was using it as a base while I built this um, after that I have a few different houses I'd like to build I'm going to sort of start off with a very simple build and build up in complexity that's the plan anyway so that's it from me today. Thank you for watching.